Have you ever seen the world's biggest leaders, influencers, creators keep their hand in particular position while giving interviews, speaking in seminars, workshops or giving speeches in big platforms? Do you think it's a normal hand position? No. This is the biggest secret which you must know and once you know these secrets, you will start using right away. This secret was fully hidden and in India, these secrets were used by many yogis for higher spiritual growth and for higher power. The secret is mudras. Mudras are special hand gestures, symbols and positions which channelize your physical and mental energies in certain direction. Mudras are the behavior of your pranic body. Through these mudras, you also can change your complete behavior or control your behavior and control your energies. If you see the body, body is made up by five elements. Earth, water, fire, air and space. For a healthy body, it is very necessary that these five elements are balanced. If any of these elements in our body get disbalanced, it later imbalances our entire health system which will lead to sickness, sorrow and many other problems. Our each fingers represent these elements. For example, the thumb represents fire, index finger represents air, the middle finger represents space, ring finger represents earth and the last one represents water. When you apply certain mudras by adjusting your physical body in particular structure, it balances your elements so that your focus stays at one desired purpose, which manifests into reality. Mudras are also defined as a seal. It means lock. So when you lock your physical and mental energies for one purpose, all the energies started channelizing into that direction to fulfill that purpose and provide you the desired fruits. Let's learn and understand some mudras which you must know and start performing them for daily basis. Let's understand with one very important mudras which many influencers use for their desired purpose. The mudra called Uttarabodhi Mudra. Here you fold all the fingers with each other except your index finger and your thumb. So these two finger, index finger and thumb will be outside in this mudra. This mudra is called Mudra of Higher Enlightenment. You have seen many Buddha statues performing this mudra. The reason of performing this mudra is it increases your inner and outer awareness. You start being in present moment. This mudra improves your focus, concentration. This mudra keeps your mind conscious about all the activities happening outside and it improves your self-confidence. By performing this mudra in long duration, it removes fear, worries, stress from your life and fill you with prosperity, positivity. It helps you in problem solving and decision making situations. This mudra changes your complete behavior and personality. That's why you will see many speakers perform this mudra and you see them, they are very confident. Many speakers you will see that they don't have fear, they don't have worries, they speak fluently, they speak without any barriers and by their speech, other person who are listening, they really believe in their speech. So start this mudra from today only and see the result. Now understand the next mudra, that is very ancient mudra called Hakini Mudra. So if you want to perform Hakini Mudra, basically this mudra when you touch all the tip of your fingers to each other, it connects all the energy system together. So basically when you perform this mudra, it completed the circuit of your energy system. So the energy will circulate strongly within the system, within the body. The name of this mudra is taken from Hindu goddess Hakini, meaning of this Hakini in Sanskrit is power, ruler. By performing this mudra, a person gets power to complete control of their mind and once you have a complete control, you will see that all the actions, physical, mental or vocal you do will be under your control. Scientifically, our tip of the fingers 
consist more than 3000 macno receptors which works as a highway for your brain which sends the various signals to your brain through neurons. By connecting these macno receptors and neurons connections, when you perform these mudras for long time, your brain power increases. This connection boosts your memory. Brain feels energized. It gives you clarity and develop your creativity as well. Now the next mudra I'm going to teach you that is especially for those people who find difficulties in concentration, who find difficulties in sitting quietly, difficulties in focus. So the next mudra is called Dhyana Mudra. You might have seen monks and especially in India actually, they are sitting in this position by keeping one hand over each other, by placing the both thumb together like that. This is called Dhyana Mudra. Dhyan means meditation. So whenever someone does this Dhyana Mudra, meditation mudra, it means he or she trying to calm their mind. In some texts, you might find various name of this Dhyan Mudra as well. But from now, try to perform this mudra. Now understand how to perform this mudra. So for doing Dhyan Mudra, you first sit in comfortable sitting position, keeping the back straight and placing your left hand in bottom between your both thighs. And now place your right hand on the top. If you are an overactive person, if you feel that you have too much fire, for that case, you place your right hand under the left. But if you feel that you are the one who are very passive, over passive, very lazy, weakness, you are feeling mentally you are not very active or physically you are not very active, you place your left hand under and right hand on the top. Now once you perform this, you place both thumb together, touch tip of the thumb, keep your both hands finger together and this is how you will sit in straight position with closed eyes and meditate start this mudra for 10 minutes regular basis which will help you to calm your mind and develop your concentration this mudra leads to deep meditative state this mudra promotes your calm mind improve your concentration and stop unnecessary thoughts in your mind now the next mudra I'm going to tell you that is called Kubera Mudra and that is especially for the wealth. So if you want in your life to develop wealth, this mudra is for you. In this mudra, first you turn the palm facing up, bend first two fingers and touch the tip of the thumb on two fingers. Here, last two fingers you will fold and place them on the root of your thumb. And the first two finger, your thumb will come in between these two fingers. And then meditate by turning the palm facing up. 10 to 15 minutes performing this mudra improve your blood circulation in the body, especially to your heart. It improves your memory. This mudra unlock the mind power. It breaks all the barriers from the mind which stops you to develop wealth in your life. This mudra removes all the obstacles from achieving your goals. Now, next mudra are for those who wants to improve wisdom, who wants to improve knowledge. That is a common mudra. Most of the books you can find this mudra. One is called Chin Mudra and one is called Gyan Mudra. At today's time, this mudra is very popular because most of the yogic practices, yoga classes, most of the pranayama practices, meditation practices, this mudra is performed regular basis. During this mudra, we access our conscious brain. This mudra unites air and fire element, which increases your awareness. Next mudra in this series, and that is the last mudra I'm going to teach you today, that is called Ganesh mudra. Ganesh is the god in Hindu god, the son of Shiva. Ganesh also considered as an obstacle remover god. So this mudra helps you to remove the obstacles and improve the compassion towards the world and towards yourself. In this mudra, you interlock your fingers front of your heart and keeping the elbows to the sideways. By interlocking the finger between the heart, you start pulling this away from each other and that create the pressure to the side of the chest. So actually physically, if you will see this mudra also improve the chest muscles and improve the blood circulation to the heart center and once the blood circulation goes to the heart center your heart started working actively 
so that you have a full attention towards all the feelings which comes and go. You become more attentive towards the feeling and you develop the compassion. This mudra is very beneficial for removing obstacle from life. During meditation, if you perform this mudra, it brings entire fuel to your heart. Perform this mudra 10-15 minutes regularly. So all the mudra series which I told you today, according to your purpose, start doing them. And once you perform this mudra, after some times with a regular practice, one your energy circuit will be complete. Because mudras are to complete the circuit of your energy system. And once it will be complete, all the achievements will start coming to you. That is a secret that was hidden and now you know as well. Start doing it and share with others. I will see you in next video. Namaste.